the, the best camera operators I've, I've had the, the pleasure of editing because they, uh, they are cognizant of what's in the frame, but what the camera operators that, worked the, that were brought onto the race did was that they listened. They were following the story. Um, one thing that folks always remember about, you know, the memories about watching The Amazing Race was somebody missing a clue or somebody leaving a passport in a car. And then the, so magically the camera, the cameraman knew that it was there because they were, they were, obser they were observing everything. They weren't, they weren't just, you know, sometimes you get material wherein uh, it feels like the, the camera operator was, was just focused on centering somebody and having them in focus and just paying attention only to the image and, and not listening to the, the story progress or what the, the person was feeling. Uh, but uh, all the crews on, uh, on the race that were shooting the race, e you know, even, even the, the sound mixers, the field mixers, they would, they would, sometimes they would be, the teams would be in the cabs and it's just the sound mixer, the cameraman, the, and the team, and the cab driver. Uh, sometimes the, the, the sound mixer would have a question. Like, well, what did, you, what did you think when you saw them passing you over there? Like, and they would, because they're following the story as well. And, and, and for me, oh, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, that's, you, know, you guys are so good. Uh, you know, I would be saying to nobody in my empty edit room. And uh, a lot of times it would be the case where I would be watching, just watching footage, and then a, uh, I would be watching something and say, oh, a question would occur to me like, well, don't, they, don't they see this or don't they, don't they think of that? And then just at that moment, the camera would pan over and answer my question. It was, it was really, really extraordinary. So I, uh, uh, you know, getting back to the question of how much footage we had. Well, we, yeah, we, you, you, can't, you can't put it on a scale and say we had this much footage. But for me, it was most valuable was that we have these, this team who, who, who shot the material. And, 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 the, and like, like editors, some teams had different specialties. They had different strengths. And you knew that so and so was really good about certain things, and uh, you said, "Oh, okay, good. They, they, this particular moment where somebody gets really emotional, they, they're the ones that that really are sensitive. They, they, when nobody's talking, they'll shoot a close up of somebody deep in thought or somebody crying, and uh, and then we're just you were able to use that. Like nobody, nobody said anything. There's no sound bite. You just were able to tell something, say something where somebody is not saying anything but just saying everything with their face. Uh, so. Uh, those were always the things that, as I'm watching down all the material, that, those were the things I would, I would keep in mind and, and make notes of. Um, so, at, at, you know, on one level, the, the quantity wasn't so much, wasn't, wasn't really what I was concerned with as much as, as, the, as the, the, the quality of the material.